bow, bow. Come on, let's rock. Means? What? Do you know what it means? Yeah, we're starting. The the t- the metronome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. That Come on, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going. doing it before. I was like, okay, this guy's gonna start. I'm gonna yeah, but you weren't doing it before because I already started and you were doing it. Oh, I mean the recording, not the, not the, that, not this, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know what you're saying, man. <laughs> you started visually recording before. Oh no, I did both though, and you were fixing. Ah. You're I fixing see. It so it's going to be a lot of disruption on my yeah, end. Yeah, uh, it's all your fault. I apologize. Do you? No. You're the reason why there's only two of us here now. I know I did I did something bad to Patrick. <laughs> now he can't come back. <laughs> Not Don't yet. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Because his back is broken and you're saying you did something <laughs> bad to him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> pause. <laughs> no. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> say that. Whoa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean that. His back is... Nothing to do Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to Don't Think Too Hard. This is episode eight, I believe. Um, there's oh, only two of us here because yeah. people, I don't know, people got things to do. People got shit to Suddenly do. Suddenly, they got priorities outside <laughs> this podcast, which which makes me like it's quite frankly astonishing. It's kind of disrespectful. Very disrespectful, if you ask me. You prioritize so now, your life. At this rate, this. one of us is going to be doing a solo pod soon. Yeah, we're just going to be talking to the camera. It's like, <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> we're doing a live stream. <laughs> just replying to people commenting. <laughs> we don't have enough to make a whole video so about that. We just get a bot to just like... Just, uh, like, so uh, just throw out random questions yeah. and then we just answer them. Oh, we should have done that now. That would be... <laughs> It's like, yo, armadillo dust. All right, it's yo. okay. We're going to go strong for an hour. All right. Got we it? can do that. We can do that. Okay, let's begin. Let's start simple, nice, and easy. Yeah. The que- Well, it's probably hard for you because, yeah, you yeah. know, the question I ask every week, <laughs> how was your week, bro? <laughs> it was interesting, man. Oh, yeah? That's good. I took I took the deep dive into, like, what people Some call pussy. Cook. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No. <laughs> Continue. No. <laughs> took the deep dive into... Um, Alice in the, in Wonderland. Well, no, what people call conspiracy that, theories. That, that, that um, that is it too old? That doesn't change my sentence. I know. <laughs> I realized that as soon as I said it. That's why I was like, oh no, no. Let, let me just say conspiracies and okay. what people call conspiracy theories okay. and, and stuff. I get so. excited about conspiracies. I, I do Hit too. Me. So, the first one was, I guess, well, uh, there's a this old giant theory, yeah, like how there used to be giants. Like back in the day, like even there's some there's some native native Indian stories that are like traced back like a thousand two thousand years ago, mm-hmm. and they just talk about giants and like, bro, they like, they were here not too recent, not too like long ago. They were there's stories of people living with giants, and then like how big is a giant? Like what does that consider? Like they were saying. In in those stories, they'll say, okay, like 10 feet, 10 foot giants live in, they, they would even find uh, in old news articles, they would find, uh, there would be reportings where there'd be like 10 foot skeleton, uh, skeleton burial sites where they'll just find like, oh, there's 47 skeletons that are like seven feet plus at least. And it's like, that's weird. And then you look at books, like not to say Lord of the Rings is factual, but it's just weird that there's all these types of humanoid beings, but they're not human. It's like, where do you get that from? They're like, where do they come up with the idea? Yeah, like, you have to... Like, every fictional thing is it's based, based off, off of reality. So, like, yeah. you're saying there's a race of people that look that look like elves, and there's, there's dwarves. Sure and we know... Sure, they just weren't watching basketball? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a valid point there. But then, like... You talk about dwarves and then you see the like the pygmy people yeah. in like Africa yeah, yeah. and stuff. But then they talk about giants like 30 feet tall. And there's like a lot of stories like all over the world where it's just like, okay, there has to be something like people all over the world weren't equally stupid at the same time. So there has to be some form of validity. Where, so giants. Yeah. So you've been reading texts about giants. Yes. Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay that's where yeah. the conspiracy is. So what is a conspiracy? Basically, the existence of giants in the past is what you're... 
Yeah, and like maybe even today, but we don't know. I'm I'm willing to open my open yeah, the possibilities I mean, to. I mean, it's like Bigfoot. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And then I was listening to something about Bigfoot. Actually, he made a very valid point. He said, if there is, let's say, two hundred big feet, like the race in the world. Yeah. And then you're exploring like the forest. Like, what is the likelihood that you're just gonna happen upon a Bigfoot? Some yeah. people stay in freaking forest for like four. Like 10 plus years to get one picture of something. Yeah. And then, so like there's no one. And people say, oh, if Bigfoot was real, National Geographic or whatever would have found it. Yeah. But because they don't think it's real, no one is funding an expedition to go find it. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, he said that. And I was like, huh. Like you can. I don't know. I've never actually like vocalized this (laughs) to anybody, but it's just like. With basically with like, um, if you go to ancient Sumeria, yeah, there's a statue of uh, Gilgamesh, and Gilgamesh is actually like a person in history. In history, yeah, he's like a war, hero, a warrior king. Hero. Yeah, I remember. They have statues of Gilgamesh. Yeah, where he's standing with like a snake in his hand. So it could be like a garden snake, it could be a python, whatever. And people, you can argue that, but then he's holding a lion in his next hand, like he's holding a lion, like I would hold a kitten. In his heart. Yes. So, and there's like, it's not just like one statue. It's like Multiple. every every depiction of Gilgamesh has yeah. that. But then there is the argument that yeah. he's a king. So he's like, yo, yeah, they'll give look him fucking big, bro. Right. Like he made everyone make him look big and shit. The, and that's, that's, that's pretty valid. But like, if you couple that in with like the old, there's like old findings from like the 1900s, 1920s of people. And even now people finding skeletons. Of just abnormally sized human beings or humanoid creatures. But how many of them? Because I swear I saw like on TLC, the world's yeah. tallest man's like fucking nine feet or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I've, I, in the, I watched this on, on YouTube because you okay. know when you go to like the dark side yeah, of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, one article in the video was talking about they found 47, like a burial site of 47 beings that were all. They said they were all at least seven foot and some exceeded that. And a lot of them exceeded that by a uh, big number. And then other people, there'll be, uh, I'm not really sure about the other roller sites. That one stuck out to me because it was a big number. Mm-hmm. And there's other people who have seen like footprints. Yeah. There'll be like a six, there'll be a, a six foot footprint and a six hand, hand six finger with? Six toe handprint, footprint, and six finger handprint, like in a embedded in oh, stone. Oh, you mean like they have like six toes? Yeah, and six fingers. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay, okay. that's weird, cause in the in the Bible it talks about I can't I think it's a uh, First Kings, where David was fighting this giant, who had, and they said he had six fingers and six toes coming up to 24 like digits or whatever yeah and it's like bro well this is in america like and then they said that this giant belonged to a race or was, was uh the descendant of like some i don't know if there was an annux or something or anak and it's like okay so there's that then you have native aboriginals with the cave paintings of these strange beings maybe they're on lsd i don't know well, who knows? I mean, it could be, <laughs> but at the same time, like I wasn't there. They could be. I yeah. guess they could technically be around too. But then, where are they? Like, yeah. actually, no. There's actually a lot of like, like islands and shit that are unexplored yeah. that people are like that are like completely and, separate from like modern society. And they just don't mess with people either. Yeah, which is crazy. So they're so YouTube convinced you. Not convince me, but. But you're now you're I'm, open to the possibility. Like, like if yeah. someone comes on the TV tomorrow and says, "Hey, look what I found," you wouldn't be surprised. No, like the, <laughs> like uh, I remember in the Boondocks, they were talking about uh, one of the characters, Romy Red, was talking yeah. about the absence of evidence is not the evidence, evidence. of absence. Yes. So I was like, okay, just because you haven't found out it doesn't exist, doesn't mean doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly. So I'm open to. The things we don't know that's good that we don't know no, that's good no because yeah. <laughs> then i don't know about now actually you know what 
What am I saying? Like, <laughs> crazier things exist, bro. Like, yeah. fucking just look at a giraffe, bro. If a giraffe yeah. can exist, then Come on. anything can exist. <laughs> to be honest with you, bro. Like, bro, whales... Whales exist. They yeah. are mammals who breathe air and yeah. live in water. Yeah. And they sleep. And they just have a hole in the top of their yeah. head. Like, that's wild. Just like, expelled water. That's so wild. This is Like, if you took a kid yeah. and said there are giant humans existing, or there is this big rubbery thing that lives in water and makes scary ass sounds with a nose on his head the kids be like okay i, I think the, the, the giant big exists exist. yeah, big people exist more than the whale that's what i'm saying yeah. so i will never say never that's okay. what i'm saying yeah that's it could be but that's good that's good that's good that's good yeah so that's what your week is entailed then for the for the, for for the, the most, most part, part yeah. that's good man i mean I'll, I'll let you you know i'll let you share how your week was <laughs> <laughs> I mean, up until like two days ago, yeah. it was like nothing. But like fucking two days ago, went to the beach with okay, Andrew. Okay. Yeah, Andrew's been, he's got life going on. <laughs> so that's that's another story. <laughs> and then, but basically, what happened is I work six a.m. yesterday and today. So yeah. Thursday night, I'm at the fucking beach, and I'm like, oh well, like now I have. At yeah, work. work. So that was a poor decision. Yeah. And then I was supposed to be home so that my girl was mad because I was supposed to be home a long time ago because my oh. dog had my dog had um training, like his final day of training. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't make it. So Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that because like you know Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So then yesterday night I was like, Okay, make it I'll make it up to her. So I went out with her and her friends. Oh, so it's and so decisions. I had to wake up. 6 a.m. again <laughs> for 6 a.m. again today so that's two nights back to back no sleep no i oh, got okay. back at let's say 11 ish yeah. so with my schedule that's asleep at like one two o'clock okay okay and then i wake up at 4 50 to get that's to not, work that's not bad so I mean, that's two back to back days like i'm currently off sleep. four full coffees today uh yeah, so oh, because that's the I only mean, thing that's keeping me going. <laughs> that's the only thing that's keeping me alive. You need some, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and on Thursday, I almost died because some guy on a motorcycle ran a red light while I was halfway through the crosswalk and almost hit me and my dog. So, like, I've just been. Oh, so you almost weren't here. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> bro, there's something about Toronto yeah. that kind of like, I can't, like, spend more than a day here. Because I just man. get tired. It is a lot. It's a lot. I spend, honestly, like, I spent a long time, like, months at a time, just, like, home. And yeah. then, like, Elena will want me doing stuff, and I'm just like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, even just, like, I used, to, I used to go on walks, like, all the time. But, like, here, just being outside is, like, it's tiring. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's tiring. It's a lot of, it's sensory overload, because, like, all the noise, oh, the yeah. people, the smells are all different. There's yeah. so much shit going on. And, like. I'm always on edge because, like, I'm just, like, built that way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, like, always ready for someone to try and jump me. <laughs> See, that's something. even worse, bro. <laughs> so, I'm always on edge. So, it's, like, pure just, like, energy when I'm outside. So, yeah. it takes a lot. But I think I'm too... We might be too introverted yeah. for the city. Yeah. COVID was nice for that. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it was even nice for Brampton and there's nothing to do in Brampton I, I was like I was just enjoying but now you don't feel bad about not doing anything because <laughs> yeah. there was nothing <laughs> that's exactly Whoa. what it is man I mean yeah so obviously it's bad because like lots of people died and lots of people I mean, got yes, sick and lots of family members and all that thing. but I mean like there's, there's good there's and bad to everyone. sometimes maybe good sometimes good maybe shit <laughs> the two soda legend <laughs> A fucking legend, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Speaking, wait. I gotta. What? I don't know why I thought Gattuso was was coaching Inter. Conte's coaching Inter. He's coaching uh Napoli. 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 Yeah. So he's coaching. I don't doing, know why that fucking. They're doing nice though, which is kind of makes me sad. That he left. That means the problem was us, because if he <laughs> left and. But you knew you were the problem. I know, but <laughs> I didn't want him to confirm it, right? So I was just like, hey, if he leaves and they tank. Y'all can look at the club and be like, yo, you guys are in shambles. <laughs> but now, now we're, we're just this we're, like we're terrible. This, right? When Man United lost Fergie and it then they a, got Moyes, <laughs> right? And yeah. then they just went like seven straight years of, of just, like not doing anything. And yeah. they had seven managers. Then they're like, hmm, maybe <laughs> it's not the manager. 
<laughs> so like you have to like <laughs> you have to go you have to <laughs> give and take a little bit. You know what I mean? That's what, I'm saying. what is bad, man? Because yeah. we didn't prepare at all for like time, yeah. Yeah. so we're just garbage. We will not. Maybe on the recovery yeah. now, but that's good. And now you're on the recovery now. But I'm just like you said last week. Like Barca's looking like more and more like that's yo, where headed, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it's scary. That was yeah, it was actually scary. Like my heart was beating when I was watching that game. Yeah, so and I didn't know. I don't know. Next like three years, Barca could literally be Milan. a mid a mid table team. I hope so. I <laughs> That'd hope be great. Actually, I hope like Sevilla turns into a new Barca, and then Barca just stays there. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Yeah, I love shifts in power, man. Yeah, it's so it great. makes it makes things you know fresh, fresh, and, and, fresh and, and interesting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying because I think Arsenal's in the years next year. I think we're gonna win the league. I think <laughs> you need to uh, maybe check into a psych ward or uh, whatever they do now in hospitals because that's a little. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm a to hope though, man. Nah, no, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we're not winning the league. I'm just fucking around. But we're making some positive moves and we're headed in the right direction. And that's what I like to see. <laughs> yo, I to saw a meme. I saw a meme. Yeah. Where it was like, yo, we sold Gnabry for 5 million. Yeah. And then we bought Sako for 72. Did we lose? <laughs> Are we losing here? <laughs> and I was like, wait. I can't believe that actually happened. What do you mean? Pepe? No, uh, what's it? Is it Pep Sak? I don't know. Sak is from an academy. Okay, someone got somebody. Somebody bought somebody for like seventy two. I think it was Pepe. You then. got Pepe for seventy two. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. That's you guys had an academy prodigy. Listen, and this then, is what I told them now last week. Gnabry for Arsenal was not Gnabry <laughs> for Bayern. Bayern and he went to like three other teams. He yeah, played for West Brom, West Brom, Wolfsburg. Hoffenheim, and then oh, Wolfsburg. Yeah, 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 Wolfsburg. So like he, yeah. had to, he had to we would have to keep him for him like alone. fucking ten years. Send him to like Vitesse, or Vitesse in Belgium. Yeah. And then I was sad when he left. Yeah, but like at the same time, I was like, I get it. And I'm like, yeah. I understand. Like, you can't keep them all. He wants to develop. Like, I'm happy for him. Like, he went yeah. and he developed. Because he wouldn't have done that on Arsenal. Because he wasn't no. He wasn't at that caliber at the time. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. That's the thing you guys got to see. I know. But, like, I guess with, like, it just paints the picture, like, yo, how money-driven football has become. Where yeah. they don't, like, give times for players to, de- like, to properly develop. Yeah. And it no. kind of sucks. I know. I know. I mean, yeah. but it's... Because everything is like now, yeah. but at the same time at Arsenal, you guys it's need twenty years now. or oh, yeah. however. <laughs> what what year is it? It's been eighteen years, <laughs> not eighteen, sixteen, right? seventeen, twenty. It was two thousand four, right? So yeah, yeah. sixteen okay, okay. years. Yeah, it's been about. <laughs> so it's been a while. <laughs> so like I mean like I feel like the development is like should it's come to an there? end now. I feel like we should be developed <laughs> by now. Is <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> but like yeah, no. Every time I see. Like an academy player gets sold, I always get scared, man. Yeah. Like the only one I actually don't care about, which maybe I should, was like Oxley Chamberlain. He's not an academy player, but like, because like he went to Liverpool and he won the league and all, but yeah. like, but he's not he's like still not like amazing. Where he stand or oh, this guy, they we need him. Yeah, he's, like, nah, 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 he's not that. Nah. So that's good. In reality, should just got Alfonso Davies. Cause he's Yo. the greatest of all time. I saw okay. this this post where I can't remember what year, but it was before Byron even was in the picture. Yeah. Uh, when Crystal Palace was touring in Canada. Yeah. His the I think the owner the the owner's daughter or something yeah. was telling him about Davies in Edmonton, and they were like, "We're trying to get him, but they couldn't sort out the work permit. I guess it, I don't know if it was too expensive or whatever." Thank God. And then they just said, yeah. And he's like, now every time I see Byron, uh, uh, Davies playing for Byron, I'm like, what well, could have been no, me? It couldn't because if he went he to Crystal been Palace, Palace, he would have been ass. Yeah, he would have been doo doo. Because been if like you think about it, when Henry. he first got to Byron, he didn't play for like the first like year almost. Yeah, he was just training. He was just training. And then yeah. as soon as he was ready, he just came on. He, just just he was like, tore. yeah, let me slap. Yo, move <laughs> Alaba. Let's move Alaba from left back, back to center back. Yeah. 
Yo, Alaba is so underrated though. Yo, he's no, one he's, of the most versatile players he's actually disgusting. I've ever seen. He literally be like, "Yo, Alaba, today, like, you want to play striker today?" He just be like, "All right, okay, <laughs> All right, oh, score twenty want. goals a season." <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I fucking used to love Alaba, bro. Yeah, he's actually disgusting. Yeah, I hope he retires at Bayern though. I don't so, want him to leave. Me neither. I don't want him. To, you know why? It's because in Bayern over in Germany doesn't affect Arsenal because I know the stupid shit what happens is anytime a player like that moves it's always to fucking like United or even oh. fucking Tottenham you somehow sneak up and get <laughs> players like that or Liverpool like I hate that shit so I'm just gonna say whenever there's like a highly rated player I'm just gonna be like yeah. stay where you are yeah don't just move don't go anywhere <laughs> don't go anywhere I don't want you to <laughs> touch anywhere just retire just retire. leave just retire. I don't That's want what you. Because I, I was like, Jaden Sancho's nasty. I love to see him in the Prem. As soon as I see Man United in, <laughs> I'm Jay like, Yo, this no, 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 fuck you. Yo. And then when Leon Bailey was staying, of course, fucking Chelsea oh, and yeah. Liverpool, whoever it was Ooh. else. No. I'm like, no, 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 just stay, no. yo. You're, you're, bro, you have a good losing. life. You're good, man. Making Germany, good bro. money. That's what I'm saying. Just stay, bro. bro. Just stay. Good Enjoy. year. <laughs> Enjoy your time there. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Because it's dangerous sometimes, man. I don't fucking, know, man. And I'm scared. Fucking Maitland Niles. They're like thinking about selling him and freaking Tottenham want him. And I swear to God, if he goes to Tottenham and it just turns out nasty. <laughs> he probably <that's> will. It. <laughs> no, it's never happened before. Because we sold Welbeck to Watford. They got relegated. Oh, we sold yeah, Walcott yeah. and it will be to Everton. And they were just like. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so like. We put Wilshire to West Ham. He did nasty for like two yeah. games and got injured again. <laughs> so, I mean, like, our track record is, is pretty good. good. Like, but I mean, like, um, even, <clears throat> who was it? Adebayor, when he went to oh. City. Only Van Persie. And Van Persie bit us in the ass. Yeah. Sanchez was ass, so he didn't bite us in the <laughs> ass. Like, so many players were good. Giroud didn't bite us. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's it. what I'm saying. Well, so it was good. The difference between them and Maitland is that I don't think he's been proven properly. He hasn't, and he's getting better. That's yeah. the thing. Like, I can so, see him getting better. Yeah. So, like, with Wilshire and them, like, you say, okay, like, you get what you get. This is what the package. Yeah. With Niles, like, you don't know. The potential is like, oh. Uh, you know, well, he's gonna he be into this. Might be nasty, but <laughs> an investment now. Like, that's scary. Yeah. <sighs> Don't. Yo. Okay. I'm gonna take a hard left. No worries. You know they're trying to release genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida. Pardon? Yeah. In 2021. No, For what? To spread malaria? <laughs> like, Actually, their plan is the opposite. So basically, no, no, they no, have no. mosquitoes over there. They're gonna send the vaccines in the mosquitoes. <laughs> Bro, no, they're gonna sell the microchips in the mosquito. No, 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 no. Okay, not that. Okay, so over there, apparently they have a problem with mosquitoes that have dengue fever and Zika. Yeah, right. They carry them, and apparently only female mosquitoes bite because they need blood to for their eggs. Vampires. I had no idea. I learned that today. That's toxic femininity. Literally, toxic femininity. But. So, what their plan is, they have, like, 75, like, million fucking male mosquitoes. Yeah. And then genetically modify it to carry a protein that's supposed to kill female mosquitoes before they age. So, if they go out, mate with the female mosquitoes, then yeah. their offspring will supposed to die before maturity. Maturity. Unless what actually is going to happen is they're going to go out there, mate. Hulk they're going to go babies. like this. And now they're going to be super fucking mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. That's and what they're going to come out fucking this big They're going to be immune to all <laughs> bug sprays. They're going to be immune to your hands, bro. You're going to smack one. It's going to it's gonna like brush off your freaking through fingers. your hands, bro. They're going to be air piranhas, bro. Yeah, so like, man, people in Florida are like pissed. I was like, yo, you guys are doing some like basically Jurassic Park type experiment yeah, no. here. Just, I'm out. <laughs> no man because they already have alligators and pythons and humans and humans <laughs> florid and humans and covid and covid and uh, i guess zika and whatever the hell <laughs> dengue mosquitoes fever. carry <laughs> dengue what the hell is that bro <laughs> no that sounds like some delirious disease you're just tripping balls in your cat on your balcony <laughs> diving into the ocean from your condo so no i'm saying yeah so florida i believe now, after a few years of research, is just a testing ground. Like everything that the humans race is like, you know what? Let's see how this would work. 
They just put it in Florida. And that's, that's conspiracy. why. That's my okay, conspiracy, okay. <laughs> which is why all that shit happened. That's why the bat salt zombie guy was I was about was to over bring there. that up. There's like, what that's would happen? That's why people like, what would happen if humans and alligators lived in harmony? <laughs> that's right over there. What would happen if we gave a bunch of old white people guns? That's what's over yeah. there. Like, everything. Like, it's actually scary. That's man. actually... Because apparently, I don't know if, you, like, if you Google Florida Man and you just put in a date, there's a, there's a, there's a story, a, a story for every, a crazy story for every date. Yeah. That's yeah, scary. That's fucking scary. And, and someone, mm-hmm. oh, they have COVID. So they wanted to test. If, oh, yeah. If we just have no restrictions on COVID, what's going to happen? Florida did it. Oh, yeah. It's like, so let's have a lit- beach party, guys. <laughs> Literally everything happens over there. That's Bro, scary. I heard there was a, there was a, a I don't know how many, but there was it looked the picture looked like a couple of thousand. Yeah. In Wuhan, there oh, was a pool, concert. The, that pool party. It looked dope, bro. bro. That looked fun as shit. Bro. But I don't know. Who, I mean like who according sanctioned this? according to reports. I know there was like have 30 no, days. They have or something. like no or COVID three months. cases. Which is believable or not, depending on who you are. I do not believe anything but... that comes out of the Communist Republic of China. <laughs> I do not I do not well, condone yeah. that well, behavior. What are you gonna do? You know, hold on, I'm gonna just check the camera. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Just in peace. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you need a medic, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot just now. <laughs> And yeah. I was listening to a pod this morning and then they were talking about Blistex and how none of them have ever seen like the bottom of a Blistex container. And I'm like, these men are from New York. Yeah. So is this just like a worldwide pandemic of no one being able to finish a Blistex container? I've done it once. <laughs> and then as I finished it, yeah. I lost it. So I can't even prove to <laughs> you that I finished it. I was like, <laughs> yo. Bro, I finished it and I was like, I can't throw this away. So I just took Vaseline yeah. and I put it in there. And then it was gone. And then I... It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Yo, it's just Yo. little fairies. It's like, no, no, no. We can't allow you to know our trade secrets. <laughs> there is... Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. It's so weird. Sometimes I like look and shit. I'm just like, yo, like did like people just really just have the same childhood? Is that like a thing? Like there's yeah. so many things that people like this, like when like literally some stupid stuff, like there's a meme about the tree and there was like a branch and there's like whenever I see this and there's a kid like smacking it or some <laughs> shit. And I'm just like, yo. <laughs> or you're like there's someone in Australia tree, talking dude, to just, uh, Yeah. That's yeah, that's or weird. the freaking little the dangly thing in the door. And you see kid just fucking pull that shit back just to watch it go Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the door stop or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. used to do that all yo. the time. It's actually yeah, I'm pretty sure I had like minor OCD yeah. as a kid. Yeah. Or yeah. whenever you had a mosquito bite, did you do this thing where you fucking did the X? The X. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that never worked, bro. I would dig into my skin until I started bleeding. I'm like, oh, it works. <laughs> it stopped itching. But now I'm bleeding. <laughs> I don't know if that's good. Oh my god, this is what I'm trying to say, man. Like some, it's crazy how like people just do like the same shit. It's kind of scary. Cause like it? it's like yo, how easy would it be to like condition people to do things? Bro, it's not easy, man. We're all yeah. conditioned, bro. Yeah. Which if is you think crazy. about it, like think about wine. Why is wine expensive? No, you know Who what's knows? worse than wine? Why is art expensive? I maybe want to punch a wall just now. Like bro. literally, a piece someone of someone just looked at something and said seventeen million. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's the one. The guy's dead. He's not even getting money. <laughs> no. That's but it's 17 million, million. Yeah. and that's that's and conditioning like bro <laughs> like 17 million dollars for something that's gonna hang on your wall like it's yeah. not a dog it's not a super dog no it's not a no. ultra dog it's not a dog no it's and you're not. spending 17 million dollars on it yeah just to have it there to look at yeah just Actually, say, probably, I, you're probably not even going to be looking at it. You're probably just going <laughs> to have it there. Forget about it. It's there. I think it's that like first world flex things. Like, yeah, see that painting? So 20 million. 20 million. 20 million dollars. I just spent it. I just saw it and I wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got it. That's what I... Uh, and like wine. Like there's like... I can taste the difference between like a cheap bottle of wine versus like an expensive bottle of wine. But there's no... 
wine that's fucking thousands of dollars. That's, no. that, that's there's that's, no wine that's worth it. That's that doesn't exist. That's irresponsible. <laughs> that does not exist. <laughs> that's disrespectful to my ear. <laughs> like, no, no. Yeah. Or no. cheese. Oh, yes. I remember. I remember. Yes. I used to work at a grocery store yeah. that sold like cottage or like a, what do they call them? Like special cheeses. Oh, like the like blue cheese and whatever. Yeah, yeah. like that. Like you had the little section. Yeah, with yeah. All the different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Gouda and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, I'm cashing out this lady, mm-hmm. and it comes like she bought like 15 pieces of cheese. Yeah. And I wasn't even looking at the screen. I look, it's like 400 dollars. I look at her. Cause like I'm used to people saying like, yo, four hundred dollars, yo, take this off, I don't want it anymore. Yeah. And she was like, okay, yep. <laughs> and I guess she saw my face, how shocked I was. Yeah. She's like, I only do this once a year, you know. When my uh, when my grandkids come up to my cottage, I like to give them cheese. <laughs> Miss, you could just buy premium, that Cracker Barrel, <laughs> premium. Cut it up like you do now and just call it a day. They won't tell the difference. That's what I mean. You know, just get the fancy shit that's thirteen ninety nine <laughs> instead of seven ninety nine, <laughs> and then call it a day. The marble cheese that's expensive and call it a day. I feel like if you just, I think it's all branding. That's what it is. It is branding is so important. Think yeah. of okay. I'm wearing a championship right now. Yeah. You remember back in the day when championship was fucking like third ass cheap in Walmart. <laughs> And now all of a sudden, some man decided, he's like, you know what? I'm going to make champion yeah. cool now. So now it's fucking 60 <laughs> to 100 bucks at all these designer places. Yeah, I don't get it, man. Or like Fila. Fila was there too. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. Or, or just Supreme. Or the craziest thing to me yes. is ripped pants. Ripped uh, jeans. Yeah. I remember in, in elementary school, if you were the kid with holes in your jeans, you get made fun of you're shit. poor. And now you're like, people do that shit on purpose. People buy... <laughs> jeans that are not totally you're paying stitched. more for less jeans <laughs> that's the biggest scam i've ever seen in my life bro they're saving fabric <laughs> bro and when winter time comes more. they gotta wear leggings <laughs> under the jeans so they don't get cold back so what you're telling me right now yeah. is that you consciously bought hold pants yeah. and then now you say oh this doesn't cover my body so, so let me let me use something to use, cover <laughs> let me something okay. else like i could buy a full jean or but i don't like to or let, let me, me just get buy a some... whole separate other clothing <laughs> let and... me buy this <laughs> legging that's coming with the jeans is buy one it's a special you buy full price and get this one half off even though if i bought this jean i wouldn't have had to pay any <laughs> kind of money so <laughs> specials you buy one get one for full price <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god it's ridiculous yeah it's I don't know, man. I don't understand the world, man. Yeah. I go out there and I think, like, there's certain things. Actually, no, there is nothing. Like, there's certain things I would say if I get, like, rich, I get, like, a super comfortable luxury car and, like, a nice-ass house on a piece of property. Yeah, that's fair. And then just, like, little things. Like, if a PS6 comes out and I'm rich and I was like, nah, I can just buy it. I I don't have to worry about it. Oh, let me (laughs) pre-order it, actually. Exactly. (laughs) That's what I'm thinking of. (laughs) Or, like, mate. hmm, I'll buy a pack of dogs. I think I would just spend a lot of money on animals. Yeah, I think I do that. I think I do animals, travel, and investments. Yeah. I think that's where I'm going. That's that's probably I do. I get properties, rent out properties. Yeah. Then I would... Like, I remember Pat's talking about having a a dog sanctuary. I do that shit in my backyard. Hire a staff to take care of it and whatnot. And then I can just go in anytime I want, visit the dogs, take anyone I want. I'll get a... A leopard sanctuary just full of cloudy leopards that's expensive they're the most beautiful animals i don't care how much expensive hey i'm rich it don't matter I'm, <laughs> people buying 20 million dollar paintings <laughs> i'm gonna buy 20 million dollars of cloudy leopards and just put them in a forest a man-made forest and then just visit them i'll call myself tarzan should you're gonna buy an island you can buy an island and put them on there that would actually be sick yeah but then you'd have to create your own ecosystem so you'd have to find the animals oh. they eat you have to find that what those animals eat then you have no. to find what the necessary soil for those things to grow are that will be that will turn quickly into hell island i'll just come back and i'll see like clouded leopards eating chimpanzees i'm like oh no i did something wrong 
I did something so wrong here. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, you're gonna come back and have full on demon cloud and leopards because <laughs> they're not even gonna have humans to oh. like fight back. So now they're just gonna be super or super chimpanzees because only the strong will survive because they have oh, no. no protection. So the cloud leopards have free reign to them, so only the best ones survive. So now and there's just, just gonna be super now Bigfoot. Now you have strong. big now you have big feet. Yo, just this just confirms around around my conspiracy. <laughs> Yo, the day I see a chimpanzee speak English, I'm just gonna log off. What's about the day you see a chimpanzee pick a cloud of leopard up by the tail and swing it around like the Hulk did yo- Loki? <laughs> <laughs> or if I see like, oh, like if uh, like you mix the animals in mm-hmm. and then like you forget that some parasites and immune systems can't mix. can uh, mix, yeah. and then the parasite turns into be like this brain disease taking over zombifying so now you parasite. have the last of us and yeah. it's all your fault yeah it's like uh what was it what's it planet of the apes yeah that movie tripped me out i mean all this shit can happen apparently aids <laughs> came because someone fucked the monkey so like i have a very hard time believing that <laughs> that's How what, they, know, that's I, what no, the no, rumor is no. i because i feel like i feel like i don't know why but i feel like if you're just smashing monkeys yeah that's your thing you yeah. just said no to the human populace and said, I want monkey. I don't feel like you can double dip. Or he smashed monkey, said, you know what? I ain't feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to my wife. Bro, do you and know how hard it is to wrestle a monkey? To, 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 to Maybe he's a big man, bro. <laughs> I mean, or he drugged it. <laughs> This is this is what I'm guessing. This is what this is what I'm thinking the story was. Okay? Went, found the chimp or whatever monkey it is that gave him AIDS and then he went he <laughs> fucked the monkey he's like you know what I'm not feeling it why did he go he was having some problems at home you know his wife wasn't giving it to him like he wanted and he couldn't figure he's out like, why I that so jungle. he's like you know what <laughs> I'm gonna go to the jungle find myself give us time to separate the think to like learn new things and then so I saw this baboon with this with the, red with booty the body, <laughs> right with the body so then he went saw her and then he's like you know what I haven't gotten any in a while. I'm in the jungle. I don't have the internet. It's also like fucking 19, whenever it is. So there was no internet. So that's also a reason. But he didn't bring his <laughs> magazines. That AOL dialogue. <laughs> he didn't bring his magazines. So then he went after the monkey, did it. But then after he did that, he then felt his guilty. Came to his wife sen- yeah. came to his senses like, I'm going to give you some. And he's like, really? Do I tell her no, what I he, did? He didn't. Though. Like, is this cheating? He didn't, though. Be- and he didn't. He didn't. But raw. he fucked her raw and then got her pregnant. But what happened after that, he felt guilty because he's like, I'm having another kid with her. And like, I just can't, can't. So then he so told her, to- but then she's like, what the fuck? Are you crazy? Left him. Left him. Went then, to some other dude. And then Had they, the baby who had AIDS now. Oh, but the other guy gave the guy that guy AIDS. AIDS. She has AIDS. She's like, what happened to me? And she's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know. And then he's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And then he left her. <laughs> and then he went to some other girl. Now she has AIDS. And then and you went to the, you went to a gallus. And uh, and uh, and the village prostitute, and they just spread it across the continent, and then it somehow and AIDS. AIDS. That's why. That's what I think happened. Huh. So basically, that's infidelity and sex with a monkey. Bestiality and story, cheating. Don't cheat on your wife, especially with animals, because you yes. don't know what they're carrying. Safe. Yes. Practice safety. <laughs> right. You know, there's some states that actually it's legal to like have sex with animals. Like, I think in, I mean, I don't want to misquote any states, but I feel like it said Tennessee Is it? or some, or some, some state yeah. was like, you can, like, it's not illegal for you to have sex with a horse. Yes. I know there are some states like that. There Whoa. was one state where it was like a really weird law. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I was listening to, I think Joe Sanagato was saying it and yeah. he's basically like, it's illegal to have sex with the llama in your bathtub between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. or some yeah. random shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, <laughs> I think that was on like Idiots of the Internet or something yeah. like that. It was like, <laughs> like, I'm, who came up with these laws, bro? <laughs> There's someone traumatized. It was like, this was, this is painting an exact image yeah. of someone walking in and said, 
I'm going to put a stop to your crime, sir. Yeah. I'm going to make sure it's the last, if it's the last thing I'm doing, cron- Congress is going to pass this law. You know what I think it is? I think it was a petty. It was more infidelity. The wife Probably. came home, so I'm fucking over. <laughs> 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 it's fucking bad. Yo, because that's what happened in a, in a Black Mirror. Remember the first episode? No. You never watched the first don't episode? Tell me. No. I don't want to. Just I'll, tell I'll me. spoil it. It's old. It's old. It's show. old. It's old. So you haven't watched it. Uh, shame on you. Bro. So the prime minister of England yeah. has his daughter kidnapped mm-hmm. and the kidnappers say, we won't, we'll kill your daughter, mm-hmm. but we will release her if you, on, a, on the biggest news channel ever or in, your, in the country, uh, have sex with a pig. And so the whole episode is him going through like, am I going to let my daughter die or am I? I hope I he fucked the pig. Cause I feel like that's what I would do. So <laughs> it's just like the for half of the episode, it's like he's going through like I'm not, I don't want to do this, but then he ends up doing it. But the scene, the scene cuts, where every because everyone's hearing about it yeah. because the, the 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 terrorists made it public and then he's publicly accepting yeah that whatever he did the it. demands yeah. So the public they're waiting, they're all in the pubs, w- watching, waiting for this guy to smash this pig, and then it cuts to the streets. There's no one in the streets. And his daughter is just walking on the street, looking like confused because there's no one on the streets. <coughs> yeah. Then it cuts to the next room where the per- the person with the captive hung himself. So he didn't even get to see. He didn't, he just did it for the kicks, to, just to ruin his image because he was gonna get arrested or, or right. regardless. So he kills himself, releases the daughter before he re- before, before he fucks the pig. the pig, and then he's on national television smashing his pig for no reason and then they find her just walking around in the street with no one around her and then like you see you see the, the post credits it's like a happy family the, the news is like oh what a loving wife staying with her husband even though he like to save his daughter though had sex with a pig then you go inside and he's about trying to kiss her and the, the wife is like mm, nah. <laughs> and it just goes upstairs and he just looks defeated because his daughter's like dad you had sex with bro and then his wife is like i can't have you put that in me now because it was in a pig because it was in a pig she doesn't want swine flu she's bro she doesn't want that fever she was at that point <laughs> she doesn't want that pork <laughs> she doesn't want her she want the pork she, pork <laughs> she doesn't want any pork in her bro <laughs> you want to get porked by a pork bro <laughs> Oh man, oh, that was my introduction to a Black Mirror. Yeah. I was like, I can see why it's a popular show, man. It's messed up, man. But it's, it's like depressing. Reminds me of that age old question: Would you rather fuck a sheep or not fuck a sheep? But everyone thinks you fucked a sheep. <laughs> I'd rather have everyone think so than me actually do because yeah. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I would never be but able. But no to one would ever find out ever, no matter what. I don't care because I wouldn't be able to like look at myself. Yeah. And be like, you flirting with this woman right now, mm-hmm. pretending like you didn't just do what you th- what you know you did with a sheep. I won't be able to hold myself together. Yeah, I feel like that's hard. And I don't then, know. That's a hard one, bro. Actually, fuck public <laughs> perception. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yeah, bro. I have everyone think I did it. I know. I know I didn't. But yo, if you, if, if that's the way life goes, but now you're gonna be defeated like the man. But Your who wife knows? Wife won't want to kill you. <laughs> Their wife won't. <laughs> fuck. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> your wife won't want to fuck you. Your daughter won't want to talk to you. Oh, I guess then you just buy a dog. You buy my dog. You buy a dog. Me. You buy friendships. My dog. But now everyone's gonna judge you for buying. Oh a yeah, dog he's like, what are you doing with the dog? <laughs> and they take the dog from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's no winning, bro. But what then you like, you know, it might open up some doors where you just meet people you never would have met before. It's like, hey, Do you don't worry about it, partner. People? No, <laughs> but you know, it, it's Actually, interesting I mean, lives. You, you might read a book if you're that alone. I feel like you would just take the, any company, take whatever you can. Man. <laughs> take, oh my god, man, that's yeah. scary. Not nah. oh, imagine that. Yeah, imagine. I'll probably. Oh, imagine I'd probably end it. What? I might just end it. Yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest, I don't know. If like, if my kid, I'm like, if my kid was like so disgusted to the point where like she wouldn't talk to me at all my wife leaves me and I'm just you have nothing and then all I have is like work and then at work people dick. look at yeah <laughs> <laughs> <That's all laughs> this little piggy <laughs> and they're always making a joke about you it's like wow yeah no I don't know man. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know man <laughs> I don't know man oh man that's sad yeah. 
on a more serious note. Yeah. You hear about Megan and Tori? I heard that. I mean, I saw on a black in the black box in the CP24 that he shot her. Yeah. Like, did he actually? Yeah. Well, she literally came online. I think it was Thursday night. She came on live and said, yeah, because it happened like a month ago. And then she was basically staying like silent. She said, someone shot me with the intent to harm me in both of my feet. I didn't break any bones in my feet. Um, so thank God, <clears throat> like things going crazy. But then fans and like obviously not fans just started dragging her, started calling her like all sorts of names, I guess, and saying, yeah. oh, you're lying. How could you get shot in your feet and no bones are broken? Yeah. So then she released pictures of her feet to show what she was like in the heel area. Oh. So like there's no... There's no bones there. And then... Just your Achilles. Yeah. 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 She's, she's honestly, she's super lucky to be walking. But yeah. then... So she got tired of it, essentially. And then she just came up and then this, told, just said the story. Like, Tori shot me. Like, we were having an argument. I got up, walked out the car. Were they dating at the time? I don't know what they were doing. It was oh. like her and her friend. And then Tori and his bodyguard, apparently, were in the car. And then he, she got up, walked away. And then apparently he got out and just this shot guy, at her. It's like, crazy. Like, that's this guy said i'm from the hood of toronto no dude, i'm that's... full five foot four yeah, that gotta, is gotta. like that's like that's a low bro. that's <clears throat> that's such a fragile ego like yeah I, I don't care what anyone says man that is suck. and fucking people are trying to call her a snitch i was like bro because someone shot you <laughs> Bro, she's a fucking. She's, she's not a victim. A, she's, fam. A, she's a civilian though. Yeah. This isn't no street code shit. No, nah, this nah, isn't no not a like gangster. vendetta. She's There's never no gang about on. That. This isn't gang on gang violence. It's a man this shooting her, like, bro. <laughs> so she was minding her own damn business, leaving, and then get shot. Like she's under no obligation to fucking be like. No, I can't tell you. Yeah. And apparently she was at the whole beginning. She was like, I won't say anything. I want to protect you. And she was treated like shit. And she didn't want to tell because like the cops come. You're black, and you're gonna yeah. tell them, "Oh, we have a gun in the car." Like, what the yeah. fuck are they gonna do? They don't give a shit if everyone's getting arrested. Yeah. So fucking. So she said she was treated like shit by the cops, treated like shit at the hospital, and all that stuff. And it's just, Whoa. yeah, it's sad. And then she like broke down. Mm. She's like, "Yo, fucking, I can't take this anymore." Apparently, she was accusing Tories like people of going to the. Like the tabloids and stuff. To, oh, and is making up rumors to say like she was hitting her hitting him and stuff and like tried to make him look like the victim but How, but someone said in someone said a valid point they were basically just like yo even if she was beating the living shit out of you you take out you a don't, gun you no you don't Bro. you don't you don't do that that's, you don't do that that's fucking ridiculous man why do you have a gun that's so much wrong with that story bro yeah how do you how do you how do you know you have a bodyguard first of all exactly. so why do you need a gun exactly if you didn't have a bodyguard i don't understand well, why do you have a gun with a bodyguard, knowing that you're traveling with two probably females? Two females, probably one of the hottest rappers. Yeah, female rappers in the game right now. You're in like Hollywood, so so what, why do you need a gun? Yeah, he's just trying to push an image that is just it's not it's, healthy, bro. I, it has to be like they has to have like some serious like mm. deep scars from being short or some shit. And probably he's like super like fragile about it. I don't know, man. Yeah, there's no and bald. Yeah, yo, that's fucking. Yeah, yo. He just made a bad rap for all Toronto men's. He did, but he's from Brampton. That's what's worse. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. I was born in North York, so I don't know what you guys are talking about, bro. I don't know this guy. (laughs) Who's that guy? (laughs) Exactly. And it's fucking, like, literally. um, What was it? Like, when he was, like, popping, like, when he was doing quarantine radio, everyone was like, Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. As soon as this happened. Brampton He's from Brampton <laughs> That's disrespectful man Yo there's also people In America saying like Yo don't call Tory A black man He's from Canada He didn't even grow up In America So he's not a black man That has nothing to do <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah so Whoa, whoa. What does that even mean bro <laughs> It means like They're just trying to find Any little thing To carry on they're for just To just dis- distance themselves yeah. from People are saying Deport him back to Canada <laughs> And all this shit Yo this guy ridiculous like the rise and fall of this kid within a couple years a like couple months seven. oh yeah no because like 
this year, mm-hmm. I think he got off of his label. So he's, he's about to go independent. So he, oh, all money. the money is himself. Yeah. And he did that quarantine radio, getting like 5 million plus views. Like he's a probably day. tripping on his ego. Day. All this shit happening. And he, was, he was at the top. Like yeah. literally, he was poised to like take over. Yeah. And then does this shit. Yeah, his ego is definitely tripping. Because I bet you, and this is not like yeah. to... To justify his actions, but I bet you he 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 was talking crazy, mm-hmm. and then Megan like checked him, yeah, and then he was like nah nah, and then she was like she, either whether it was facts or not, she probably said something and it pissed him off, it yeah. like it just damaged his ego, and then now he's like nah nah nah, people don't say that to me, nobody says that to me, and it's this guy so went Scarface. Yeah, that's <laughs> yo, he's fucked. Anyways, yeah, so like I guess guess it's all still a legend, but like if all this is true, bro. Yeah. Like, honestly, fuck that guy, bro. Yeah. He's been a weird guy from, like... No, he he's had temper issues from time, though. Yeah. But, like... I feel like a lot of uh, male, uh, like, like music artists have, like, uh, personality problems or behavioral problems. They're, like, very erratic. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, I can see it. But yeah. Like, like, with... Uh, I remember... Like, this is nowhere near as close... But I remember with uh, with Kendrick at one of his concerts, mm-hmm. he invites a white kid oh, onto his stage to sing a song that has the N word, and then he gets mad at the kid for saying the N word. Yeah, no. That so was, like, are you bipolar, bro? Or that was kind of sneaky. Yeah. Like he knew it was coming, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I don't know, like yeah. what I don't know. Man. And then obviously there's Chris Brown. Yeah, he's a then, crazy guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, nothing, nothing to this extent, bro. No, nothing at all. This is. Well, that's it for Tori. <laughs> He's done. The streets. Regardless of what happens after, like his career is done. It's over. Even his, even his, like any kind of credit, cred, credentials, street cred that yeah. he might have had. Oh. Like you shot a thing. Yeah. That walked out of your car. That she didn't put hands on you. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. He's done. It's over. You're Sorry for, to me. It's over. It's over. And it's all over. the things that used to bump his stuff that also bumped Megan, gone. Gone. Yep. It's like, oh, you shot Megan. See ya. You're not getting my money. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. He fucked up. Yeah. He fucked up. He fucked up. All right. Let's bring it in a lighter direction. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to just like get it out there and talk about it because I just wanted to talk about like the whole street street code shit. Yeah, it's annoying. That man. people are getting mad at her for snitching. Yo, that before person. you bring up the yeah, next yeah, topic, go. I actually was thinking about that on the way here. I was like, it was like, um. I was driving and you know people people act crazy in their cars yeah. like, like we're in traffic mm-hmm. so you can't be speeding changing lanes all the time I'm seeing people change lanes people riding my bumper and bumper to bumper traffic why are you why are you so yeah. close people are like yeah. for some reason aggressive yeah. and even in like especially in Brampton because we're just known for terrible driving Yeah. every time I'm driving I'll be with my sister we're driving and I see a guy driving reckless and I don't know who it is I'll be like I bet you it's a guy with his bopsy in the is in the passenger seat, and ninety percent of the time he's boy. driving with either his boy or his or his girl. And I'm like, okay, he's just trying to, he's trying to flex, off, trying to look nice, like trying bro, to look like, he, a, <laughs> like a driver. Yeah, he's trying to look like a driver. Yeah, that's and you're dead. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> no. It's never worth it, man. It's never worth it, man. Saving a couple minutes is never worth it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I just want to say, do you listen to music, Johnny? Like, do I pay attention to the trends or just listen to music in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, What do you listen to? I don't even know what you listen (laughs) to. (laughs) That's a good question because I listen to like so many like like pockets of like little things. Yeah, I can't really. Okay, I'll try to I'll try to explain everything. I I have I don't really listen to rap anymore, Mm -hmm. and not because I'm some like philosophical guy, whatever. But I just like I just don't. I have stages. To it. Yeah. Like sometimes I listen to it. Other times I just still yeah. hear this right now. Like I think I listen to Drake probably once a year, and I don't do it on purpose. I just like just listen to him once a year. Yeah, that's fine. And then I listen to a lot of classical music, although I don't know a bunch of composers and stuff. I just love like listen to good nice. music. Yeah. Some jazz, '90s and '80s pop, pops like it's it's pretty it's like pretty. Who? Like I don't know. I, again, I no, don't know. No, I just want to know yeah. what's like an example of someone big that you've been listening to. I just want to know. I just want to have like the the sound in my ear when I'm what you what you're playing. I don't know the the band, yeah. but the the title 
is the music sounds better with you. I think I think I know that. And then like uh, yeah. I think another artist is Mojo, and it's like uh, I think it's Lady Hear Me Tonight. They're all like really popular, yeah, yeah. like old nineties and cool. and there's uh, uh, a song I found out yesterday called Armed and Dangerous. Yo, it was an eighties song. That song it, it bumps. It just makes you like nineties and eighties music just makes you want to pop your shoulders sometimes. Like it just it just music that you can like if you're four yeah. and eighty four you can listen to him like this is like I could I want to get up timeless. and dance. Yeah, it's actually timeless music. Yeah, I don't know. You think Butter. it's gonna be like that? No, Mumbra. You think Lil, Lil? You think Lil Uzi is timeless? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, but like, I don't know. <laughs> like, obviously, me hearing it now, like I can yeah. bump it at the time. Yeah. But then, like, if I were to go back to like even what year is it? Twenty twenty. If yeah. I go back to twenty eighteen. And try and listen to that genre of music. I don't want to. No. Right? I don't. So it's like, but I'm also like, <sighs> quote unquote, old. Like I didn't grow up with this genre of music being popping. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess. I can go back to like 90s and 2000s R&B. Yeah. And even hip hop and pop and all that and rock music and listen to that and be good. But that's because that's what I, I yeah. grew up with. So I don't know if it's, if that's why or if it's literally just because... Of what the music is now. But that also being said, yeah. music releasing is at a way higher volume than it has been before. Yeah, it's actually ridiculous. Yeah. But I don't know. Because I, I, like, they're, like, I've, I haven't really listened to a lot of his songs. But Elvis yeah. actually made some, some bangers. It's and I never. stole it all from black people. There you go. <laughs> That's what he, I think he's, they call him the forefather of, like, of, of rock and roll or something. But then he took it off of, like. The blacks yeah, that were actually. I don't remember exactly. If I can think, I should say it. I tell people this all the time, but I don't yeah. know exactly the story. All I know is he basically stole it from. There's this one specific dude yeah. that he basically got like moves, the, his sound, everything. Oh yeah, from, just yeah. Stole it straight up, and he was the white guy. So. So he got. It's like Eminem. Yeah. Not say Eminem's trash. It's, no, but Eminem. He was, had a special niche. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't fucks with Elvis. <laughs> 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 I mean he got he got if if that was the case he got uh justice in the end because I think I remember my sister was telling me that his agent yeah. was supposed to or set up this concert that was supposed to be worldwide yeah. and he never ended up when it, going and then he lost the rights to his music and so I think I think Michael Jackson had the Beatles catalog yeah, and I Rhinestone I remember or Beatles some I can't remember yeah but he had some like Elvis didn't doesn't own didn't own his 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 stuff. So yeah, like, that's oof. that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> this, he wasn't he didn't have the right to own it in the first place. Yeah. What do you listen to? I'm not gonna be a hater. Um, mm, right now I'll check I'll check like new releases. Yeah. And then I'll go through it, but usually that lasts like half a day maybe. And yeah. Then, most of my time is spent listening to podcasts, I think. And then if I'm listening to music, depends on my mood. If I'm trying to wake up, I'll throw on some like EDM or oh, okay, okay. even rap, hip hop, rock. If I'm chilling, mostly jazz. Yeah, jazz music is. Um, Mint. Yeah, it's really hard. I don't know. I go through phases. Like, I'll literally be in a hip-hop phase where I only listen to hip-hop. Then I'll be in a phase where I'm only listening to grime. Then I'll be in a phase where I'm I only went listening to, that to EDM. for, like, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it just, like, I, I think know. I'm in a... I'm in a reggae phase. Yes, yeah, so I have right my now. reggae phases now. Yeah. I'm getting, like... I'm slowly moving into there. Because I heard a song with Vibes Cartel and Lickle Vibes, which is this kid. <laughs> 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 Lickle Vibes. Yo, that's sick. The liquor just makes it sick. Not Lil, liquor no, vibes. Lil vibes. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's sick. So, yeah. So, there's that. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I always say, like, I listen to pretty much anything. But yeah. I always feel like it's a cop out. Yeah. Just to say, like, I do. But I do. That's why I hate, I hate having the ox. Unless yeah, because I'm, I'm like, so indecisive. Unless I'm really, really feeling something, I don't like having the ox because then I'm just like, I'm playing whatever, then I have to worry about if anyone Other else is liking enjoying it. Whereas if they're playing it, then for most of the time, I I'm don't like, really I'm cool with get it. bothered. Yeah, I'm cool with it. So that's what. 
And then people tell me to make playlists for when we have like gatherings and shit. I'm just yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck to put on. I this spend shit. so much time mm-hmm. deliberating. I'm like, so this this type of person. So yeah. if I after this song, if I play this, they're gonna be like, oh, that this, this the transition is so nice. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I gotta point it out yes. to them. When I was like, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's it's tough. Is there any music that you can't listen to because like? Yes. Like for me, not not because you don't like it, but because you don't want that like set of behaviors to get to like influence you too much. Oh, it's like if you listen to gangster rap, you're gonna go shoot somebody. Is that not what not <laughs> even not even that? But like for me, like I can't listen to too much dancehall. Yeah. Because oh, then you turn I, into a cause then it just turn like it just switches a part of my brain off. I'm like, okay, now I'm just like. Only yeah. focusing on yeah, you this. Go ready to bubble. Yeah, and I want to go to clubs. I want to. Yeah, like like it does. No, like it's too dangerous for me to just. <laughs> for no, me I to just. <laughs> I don't get that. It <laughs> doesn't happen to me. Man. Yeah, it doesn't happen yeah. to me. Um, no, I mean like there's me, there's song, there's genres that don't like like heavy death metal. No, just like I can't because like it hurts my ears. This man screaming. Enjoy it, <laughs> and then like. <sighs> And then like country, country, like a white yeah, boy cowboy yeah. hat, like a truck in my. They gotta have some farm. kind of like beat to it. Yeah, some like, jiggy. Beat. I like I like like the old western country, like the Last of Us music, like that. Plug yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That one's but nice. Country, country, like Blake Shelton and like Tim McGraw and them. I can't do it. It's sad. It makes me just sad. It's like their voice itself like just the way they they say words like yeah s- cuts me off i'm just like i can't i can't do it i cannot do it yeah anyways we made an hour we did it oh shit <laughs> for like 20 minutes <laughs> yes, we fucking did it that was easy suck Simpler. it bitches sampler <laughs> oh one more thing yeah remember in the, one of our last episodes i was talking about english like the language yeah the language yeah. how i feel like Oh, uh, we're speaking not the oh, original but, English. Yeah. So I remember, and this is how I know my phone's listening to me. Yeah. Because I got in my suggestions, there was this, there's this uh, video of a guy who, like, I guess he's like a scholar who studies like old languages. Mm-hmm. And he was, he made a skit where it's like an interviewer interviewing someone who speaks old English. And I listened to the video and I understood no words. And then he made a no, he like, it sounded like German. And then I went to a, he had another video that was explaining like how words changes. Mm-hmm. So he, he went through the progression of nightingale, the nightingale. Yeah. So the word nightingale was originally pronounced Nictingala in English. That was English in like the 14, 1300s, I think. Nictingala. So how does it just change? What he said is that the English language used to have, like, you know, in French, you have fem- feminine yeah. and masculine. English used to have that, but he and his theory kind of related to mine because I was like the Scandinavians and the Vikings were learning English, and that's how we sound like with English. So he's like, the Scandinavians migrated to Britain and they had to learn English, but because it was such a hard language to learn, they dropped all the I don't know the predicates or whatever for feminine, and that's why it just simplified so the we language. Do like Scandinavian Viking English. We, yeah, like, modify, we like, modern... Viking English. Yeah, like, how the Vikings learned it. That's because the Vikings it. fucked England up. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, 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 that's my... Uh, that's mm, my Vinland that's my Saga history yo, it, it, yo, it opened my mind, bro. I'm like, yo, <laughs> the Anglo-Saxons <laughs> were strange people. <laughs> Vinland Saga history yeah. lesson. Perfect, that's good. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start saying Nick Tingala. How Just often do you say nightingale in a fucking sentence? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to start <laughs> using it though. I'm like, yo, whoa. It's so, dark though. it's so dark outside. Like, it's almost as dark as the Nictingala. Like, a, what? What is a nightingale? I don't know. A bird? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't wanna, I'm going to assume it's a bird. <laughs> it just sounds like a bird, right? I'm going to have to Google this afterwards. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume. I just see this bird, this black bird with a curly tail. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I told you. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Anyways, with that, 
We are done. Thank yes. you for listening to another week's episode. Hopefully next week we have more than two people, <laughs> but more than likely we'll have one person. This is a <laughs> therapy <laughs> sessions. <laughs> All right. So again, as always, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can download us, take us with you on the road, in your car, drive. Just listen to us on Spotify, Apple. All the DSPs. All the DSPs. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, um, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, fucking Podchaser, Stitcher. I don't even know about that. Stitcher, whatever else, man. Twitch. I lied. (laughs) (laughs) And then if you're listening to us, you can watch us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, Follow us at uh, Don't Think Too Hard Podcast. That's with the number two. The middle two. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Like, subscribe, click click the little bell bell in the notification box. Mm. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Bye. Bye.